got more than he bargained for at the Rotary Club annual dinner when his extra hot hot pot landed in his lap. Hmm, what's Kylie's doing? No, it's Eva. She put Tabasco in it. Because she was jealous of Kylie. That girl's been nothing but trouble since she first landed on the street. I'll oh, cut her some slag. You're too nice. That's your trouble. Hope you're not going to be so forgiving with Eva. I told you, it's over. Only you do seem to be drawn to needy women. <laughs> First Natasha, now this one. I, they seem to sense the goodness in you. I mean, look at the way Kylie wheedled her. Oh, go home, Mother. You're starting to repeat yourself. Sign of age. <laughs> Sign of frustration. Oh. Why do sons never grow up, eh? Should we have a pudding? Yes, of course we should. <laughs> if you can't treat yourself on your birthday, then, Nick. Can we have the sweet menu, please? I just don't understand why we can't do this tonight. Wouldn't have had to rush then. Well, maybe I've got other plans for tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Puddings on the house. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So, uh, could we make a fuss of you at work then? Hardly. Couldn't care less. Mind you, if my own family doesn't. I can't believe they didn't even send me a card. Well, they might have just missed the post. Yeah, right. So what are you having? Hmm. Profiterate rolls or cheesecake? Hard decision. Well, I like profiterate rolls and I like cheesecake. <laughs> Why don't we order both and we can share? You are my kind of man. <laughs> what do I do without you, eh? <laughs> Look. Mm. Hey, girls. Yeah. Kirsty's not coming out, is she? Uh, oh, no, she's in there reading a book. Oh, I'll make friends and influence people. Please do me a favour. Take her out after work, just give us a bit of chance to get the party ready. Yeah, cool. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, our Craig's got a upset tummy. Right. You two are still all right for tonight, aren't you? Um, see, the thing is, I don't think we can get a babysitter, you know. Well, I thought Anna was going to do it. Oh, right. Yeah, she might not actually be able to do it. Oh, stop beating about the bush. The truth is, none of us want to come. <laughs> no, what she means is, none of us know Kirsty. She might be better with the mates. She hasn't got any mates round here. Really? It's all arranged now. Got a few surprise guests coming. Imagine if no one turned up. Yeah, go on, do it for a tie. Yeah, all right then. Oh, nice one. Is Tommy going? Yeah. OK, count me in. Great. You won't regret it. You're going to have a great night. <laughs> See you later. Come on. Let's get busy. There you go. just on the way. Right, everybody quiet. Kirsty's coming. Have you all got your party poppers? Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes! Right. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish he's flaming a real pump. I'm getting crampy here. Shh. Yeah, I've got plans, though, so... It's all right. I won't stay long. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Did you see her face when she came in? She didn't look right pleased, did she? Shh, keep your voice down. Well, well it's party ain't much fun when you can't drink. All the same, she could have pretended, though. Poor time. Oh. To be fair, she did say she didn't want a fuss. I'm sorry. You really didn't want any of this, did you? How'd you get him here bribing with free booze? No, no, they wanted to come. You are a terrible liar. I just wanted to do something special, that's all. Are you mad at me? How can I be mad at you? It's a lovely idea, even if it was a bit misguided. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, blow this. It's like being at a flipping oh. funeral. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, love. Show us what you've got. <laughs> do you want to dance? <laughs> Isn't it, yeah. Tell you what, though, it looks good. Yes, and you're eating for two. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm in the mystery guest. <laughs> so how long do you reckon we should stay, then? I've only just got here. Besides, Tyron's a mate, isn't he? Yeah, well, I suppose. I've told Mum to ring in about an hour. She said there's been a family emergency. <laughs> nice one. Ta-da! Everyone, I'd like to introduce Kirsty's parents, Ed and Alison. Oh, hi. Uh, um, hi. Happy birthday, love. Thanks. So, takes your boyfriend for us to get to see you these days, eh? <laughs> Thought I'd best invite you around, you know, before the baby arrives. <laughs> You're pregnant? 
You haven't told him? I didn't tell you, cos... I, I knew you'd react like this. Well, can you blame me? We've only known each other a few months. It wasn't planned. No, but we're both really happy about it, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, well, more fool you. Ed? Why don't I get you both a drink, eh? We don't want to spoil the party. It is Kirsty's birthday, love. Well, that's liven the party up, any rate. Oh, poor Tyrone. It's not the best introduction to your future father-in-law, is it? Apparently he's a copper. Is that right? Yep. Retired, though. Just as well. You don't want to get interrogated by him. How many months are you? Six. And it's going all right? Yeah, I felt fine. Oh, good. <laughs> and you're engaged? Yeah. So, when are you getting married? We thought we'd wait until after the birth. Yeah, less embarrassing that way. We're not embarrassed. Well, you should be. Ed. Oh, this is such a mess. Well, we don't think so. We're very happy, aren't we, darling? Don't put words in her mouth. Yeah. Ha happy. What? Living in some two up, two down, marrying some loser who works in a garage. Hey! You're out of order, mate. It's all right, Tommy. Actually, I'm, I'm the co-owner of the garage. <laughs> You know, they won't look kindly on a career gap. You could have made sergeant once you passed those exams. <laughs> oh, no, she couldn't. What's she talking about? Not in the police anymore. No. She worked in the knicker factory with us. <laughs> out the bounty fall, eh? Get her out of here. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I've not finished my can yet. Some, some sort of stupid joke. No. They asked me to leave. You mean you were sacked? Sorry, Dad. What were you sacked for? It doesn't matter now. I want to know. She doesn't want to talk about it, all right? No, I'm sure she doesn't. Oh, disgrace, you know that. Don't talk to her like that. You had prospects. You were going somewhere because of me. What do you do? You just throw it all back in my face. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry isn't good enough. All right, you want to mess your life up? Fine. Just don't expect us to be part of it, OK? All right, come on. We're going. I said, come on. Deaf woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be fine. Yeah. Alison! Are you all right? What do you think? Come. Here, I'll do that. You sit down and have this. I'm sorry if I'd have known you. You'd have asked. Instead of going behind my back. I was just trying to surprise you. <laughs> I did that all right. <laughs> well, how was I to know? You told me that you told him about the baby and the job. Why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me how things were? That's right. Blame it on me. No, I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just saying... That it was me that messed up. No! Well, it wasn't. It was you. Stick it your nose in where it doesn't belong. We're getting married. The family. Mine! Not yours! You had no right! I was just trying to make things special for you. Well, you didn't, did you? You screwed up as usual, lumbering in there with your pathetic good intentions. You know nothing! You're tired and upset. Why don't you just sit down and have this? So what? I'm not speaking to you when you're in this mood. Go on, bed. Don't you walk away from me! I'm tired of me. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Please, please. Please, please, please. 